In this session, we're going to take this image and give it a beautiful reflection. Hello and welcome to another Robert Chalmers tutorial. If you'd like to use the same image as me, I've included a download link in the video description. The first thing we need in order to make a reflection of an object is to make a duplicate of that object. That's our object there. This image has already been cut out from its background, so all we need to do is make sure we're on the layer with the image on it. And we are, that's there. Make sure you have Photo Persona selected. And from the Command drop-down, that's the three dots next to it, select Duplicate. And now we have a duplicate layer copy of our image layer. And you can see it there, and it's selected. You can also touch your finger or pen to the image for a moment to bring up the context menu and select duplicate if you like. I won't do that here. You can now see the duplicate in the layers panel as I mentioned. Now take the move tool to reposition this image. Move tool, there we go. Just move it a fraction. So you can see that you have it selected correctly. Now the first thing we'll need to do is flip it by going to the Transform Studio, which is there. Flip Vertical, the rightmost option of Flip and Rotate. There we go. Now we can drag the image down so it's underneath the original image. There we go, it's underneath the original image and probably just in the right place. As you can see, we don't have quite enough space. Make sure you select the View tool and squeeze it down a little bit by pinching to reduce the image so you can see it all. This allows room to expand the image with its reflection. Now select the Crop tool, which is there, and drag out to add some new space for the image. Probably one panel. And we need to go to the right a little bit and then click Apply. Let's get that out of the way. So we've got plenty of room there on the right. Now give it a moment and your image will reappear in the new workspace. Now select the Move tool again. We've still selected up here, you see. And we've got to use the circle handle to continue repositioning it. Mm, yeah, there we go. Reposition. Just inadvertently touched the, um, the main image there, the background. There we go. Put that up there so I can't move it. Now we've repositioned the image, we're going to make it look like a reflection by having it slowly disappear at the furthest edges. To do this, we first need to apply a mask to this layer. Select the layer with the copy in it and tap on the icon in the layer so that it's highlighted. There we go. And then tap the plus sign and select Mask Layer. There we go. Now you can see there's a mask there next to it. It will be showing as a white square with a dot in it. Now tap on the layer so it's selected. That is, tap on the white square. You must tap on the white square. Don't tap on the image or the layer below it. You will not see any indication on your workspace. Look in the layers list and you will see the mask beside the icon of the image. To apply the gradient, you now need to select the fill tool. That's that one there. And from the left hand side, and from a point near the top of the reflection, on that part of the image, drag a line to the bottom right of the reflection point. And you can see the gradient being applied there, if you've got a good eye. 
This applies a gradient to it to make it look like it's slowly disappearing. Right now the gradient goes to grey, which only makes the image partially disappear. So click on the grey circle to make sure it's selected. Yes, it is. Then go to the colours panel and select black. Now the gradient goes from white to black, making our image slowly disappear. Let's pop that out of the way. If the reflection is still a little too strong, click on the Move tool and the layer to have the entire layer selected. There's the Move tool and the, and the entire layer. I don't think that's actually too, uh, too strong. But, however, the layer options, you can reduce the opacity. And you can see the opacity going down. Let's make it 50%. Probably needs to be higher than that. But the opacity is lowered to 50% or thereabouts. It depends on your image. Depending on your image. As a finishing touch, first touch the screen somewhere in the canvas so that no layer is selected. Layer options. Put the move tool there. Put that up there. There we go. Move tool and touch the screen so that no layer is selected. Now I'll go to the Layers panel up here and select a Fill Layer. Now if all's going well, it puts a white image over the Fill Layer. Everything's still OK there. Opacity is 71%. Now I want that opacity 100%. Now that's something to be careful of because that 71% was from a previous setting but I want it at 100%. Now we need that layer, oops, we need that layer there. Now I drag that to the bottom and it's behind everything which is just where you want it. Now I prefer black. You can select any colour you like from the colour panel. You can give it a red background or a blue background or a green background. But I like black because it's a nice shiny surface um, imitation. I like black as it gives a nice mirror image feel to it. Let's pop that out of the way. And there you have it. Let's go back up there so there's nothing indicating. And you've got your image and its reflection. We now have a beautiful reflection. Thank you for watching.